gold, the color that took its name from the precious metal. Gold, the color of success, luxury and beauty. Gold, the color that some of the greatest products on earth have. Honey, olive oil, wine, cheese and bread. The history of olive oil along with wheat, honey, cheese and wine is as long as human existence, especially in the Mediterranean. The wild olive tree first appeared in the eastern Mediterranean, but the first olive cultivation took place in Greece, specifically in Crete, during the prehistoric period. We are in the in the ένα οροπέδιο που βρίσκεται ε, στα υψίπεδα της Σιτίας, της περιοχής της Σιτίας. Η Σιτία η οποία φημίζεται για το ελαιόλαδό της, Pop City Αλασιθίου Κρήτης. Αυτή τη στιγμή βρισκόμαστε στους ελαιώνες, κάποιους από τους ελαιώνες της εταιρείας μας. Βρισκόμαστε εν μέσω περίοδου συγκομιδής. Έχει ήδη ξεκινήσει η συγκομιδή και μέχρι τέλος του μήνα θα πρέπει να έχει ολοκληρωθεί. Olive oil is one of the primary components of the renowned Mediterranean diet and although the highest per capita consumption figures are dominated by Mediterranean countries, consumers across the globe are finding the flavor and benefits that come from using olive oil hard to resist. Crete, the mother island of olive oil, produces approximately 90,000 tons of olive oil, 80% of which is graded as extra virgin. The special microclimate of the island is what makes the Cretan olive oil so unique and tasty. Olive oil production is mainly divided into five phases. Harvesting is one of the most delicate and decisive steps to obtain an excellent quality olive oil. Generally, it is facilitated with the use of nets lying on the ground under the plants that allow the easier collection of the fallen product or facilitated by any mechanical equipment. After harvesting, the first step in the olive oil production process is cleaning the fruit and removing the stems, leaves, branches and other debris from the olives. The second step is crushing the olives and turning them into a paste. The next step is the fermentation of the fruit. Fermentation is the process of slowly stirring and mixing the ground olives, usually for 20 to 40 minutes. The last step is the separation of the oil from the rest of the olives components and the olive oil is ready. It is important to know that not all olive oils are the same. There are various categories and qualities. The quality criteria for the correct categorization of an olive oil result from its chemical analysis and organoleptic evaluation. The best olive oil is extra virgin olive oil. It is rich in antioxidants and has been associated with a wide range of potential benefits for the human body. It is also loaded with monounsaturated fatty acids, a type of positive fat that has been linked to several benefits. And last, it contains a good amount of vitamins E and K. Η εταιρεία μας ε, ασχολείται με παραγωγή και τυποποίηση εξαιρετικού παρθένου ελαιολάδου ε, και έχουμε και συνεργασία με κάποιους παραγωγούς όπου παράγουμε και συμβατικό ελαιόλαδο. Πάντα εξαιρετικό παρθένο και μόνο ποψιτίας. Εδώ βρισκόμαστε σε έναν ελαιόνα, ο οποίος, όπως θα δείτε, ήδη οι ελιές έχουν προχωρήσει σε οριμότητα, δεν είναι στο πρώτο στάδιο που συνήθως μαζεύεται, το πρώιμη συγκομιδής που λέμε. Εδώ ο ελαιόνας έχει περάσει σε στάδιο από μόβ προς μαύρο, με κάποιους πράσινους καρπούς ακόμα μέσα. Ε, συνήθως, σε αυτό το στάδιο είναι τελευταίοι τελευταίες ελιές που μαζεύουμε. Η συγκομιδή γίνεται όταν ο καρπός είναι πράσινος, κίτρινος προς, προς μόβ. Που εκεί έχουμε το καλύτερο αποτέλεσμα και αρκετές πολυφενόλες και πλούσια και γεύση και μεγάλη πολυπλοκότητα στο, στον καρπό. Η ποικιλία που καλλιεργούμε είναι η κορονέικη, ένα ιδιαίτερα ανθεκτικό δέντρο στις αντίξωες συνθήκες. Ε, η περιοχή της Ιτίας έχει ένα μικροκλίμα ιδιαίτερο, ειδικά εδώ το οροπέδιο της ε, Ζήρου. Ε, έχει πολύ χαμηλές βροχοπτώσεις κατά τη διάρκεια του χρόνου. Ε, είναι ξηροθερμικό το κλίμα. Έχουμε πολλούς βοριάδες και από το Αιγαίο Πέλαγος. Το υψόμετρο που βρισκόμαστε είναι περίπου στα 600 μέτρα. Είμαστε στο μέσο του νησιού της Κρήτης, άρα έχουμε και βόρειους ανέμους από το Αιγαίο Πέλαγος και νότιους ανέμους από το Λιβικό. 
που διαμορφώνουν έτσι την, ε, τα γευστικά χαρακτηριστικά του, του ελαιολάδου μας. Το ελαιόλαδο της περιοχής λόγω των χαμηλών βροχοπτώσεων και του ιδιαίτερου μικροκλίματος ε, που έχει ε, φημίζεται ε, για τα οργανωτικά χαρακτηριστικά του, τη χαμηλή του οξύτητα. Είναι ένα ελαιόλαδο που ταιριάζει στα περισσότερα φαγητά, ενδείκνυται να καταναλωθεί ε, σε σαλάτες σε ψάρι φρέσκο ψητό, σε κάποιες μακαρονάδες και σε κρέας. Έχει είναι ισορροπημένο, έχει ένα φρουτόδες ε, μεσαίας έντασης και χαμηλότερο πικρό πικάντικο που το κάνει αρκετά ισορροπημένο και πολύ εύκολο για τον καταναλωτή. Δεν είναι το πολύ έντονο πικρό ή πικάντικο ελαιόλαδο. Ε, Παρ' όλα αυτά έχει αρκετές πολυφενόλες, που είναι τα διοξιδωτικά του ελαιολάδου. Η εταιρεία μας δραστηριοποιείται το 2014 όπου και ξεκινήσαμε να τυποποιούμε ε, το πρώτο ελαιόλαδο που ήταν από ιδιόκτους ελαιώνες στην πορεία και παρακολουθώντας πάρα πολλά σεμινάρια και ταξίδια σε εκθέσεις και σε άλλες παραγωγικές χώρες όπως την Ιταλία και την Ισπανία στο εξωτερικό μάθαμε αρκετά πράγματα τα ενσωματώσαμε μέσα στο, στον τρόπο καλλιέργειας παραγωγής, τυποποίησης και αποθήκευση του ελαιολάδου και προσπαθούμε κάθε χρόνο να έχουμε ένα οργανωτικό αρτιότερο προϊόν. Κάθε χρόνο το προϊόν μας συγκαταλάγεται ανάμεσα στα καλύτερα ελαιόλαδα του πλανήτη, διακρίνεται σε διεθνείς διαγωνισμούς και για τα οργανωτικά χαρακτηριστικά και για την συσκευασία των, των περιεκτών, των φιαλών που το περιέχουν. Το εξαιρετικό παρθένο ελαιόλαδο αρχίζει πλέον και Παίρνει τη θέση που το αξίζει, γιατί όπως είπα και πριν είναι ένα, δεν είναι τρόφιμο, δεν είναι φαρμακό. Ε, είναι κάτι πολύ παραπάνω από τρόφιμο. Εμείς προσπαθούμε να παράγουμε αυτό που, που τρώμε τα παιδιά μας και εμείς να το δίνουμε και στους πελάτες μας. Αυτή είναι η, η αρχή μας, ο πελάτης να τρώει αυτό που τρώμε εμείς και τα παιδιά μας. Και ευελπιστούμε το ελληνικό ελαιόλαδο και ιδιαίτερα το ελαιόλαδο της Ιτίας, να καταφέρουμε να φτάσει σε όλο τον πλανήτη, σε όλες τις υπήρους, να γευτούν αυτό το υπέροχο προϊόν και να γίνουν οι πρεσβευτές μας να ταξιδέψει παντού. Another very popular Cretan product is the wine. Crete boasts a wine tradition that is 4,000 years old. Archaeological finds of the oldest vineyard in Europe, unearthed in the area of Catozacro, attest to the above. The oldest wine press was discovered in nearby Arcanis, aged over 3,500 years. Favorable soil features and climate conditions help grow outstanding grape varieties, from which wonderful wines are produced. The majority of vineyards are in the center of the island, south of the port of Heraklion, with other producers in the west around Kalia and in the east around Sitia. Crete has a warm climate, but the majority of planting is above 500 meters, which helps to cool the vines and preserve a little acidity. There are various marvelous indigenous varieties, as well as foreign ones, which have adapted very well to the local terrain with very positive results. Local white varieties include Daphne, Villana, Plito, and Vidiano. Red varieties include Rameco, Mantillari, Cozzifali, Leatico, and Sardana. Βρισκόμαστε στη Σιτία, είναι το ανατολικότερο, στο ανατολικότερο άκρο της Κρήτης, στη Μονή το Πλού. Ε, η Μονή το Πλού παράγει κρασιά αρκετά χρόνια τώρα. Η περιοχή αυτή χαρακτηρίζεται για τα αμμόδια δάφη της. Επίσης ε, φυσούν άνεμοι όλο το χρόνο, το οποίο όλο αυτό μαζί σε συνδυασμό με το ξηρικό περιβάλλον δημιουργούν ένα πολύ καλό περιβάλλον, δύσκολα καλλιεργήσιμο, πολύ καλό περιβάλλον για παραγωγή σταφυλιού και παράλληλα κρασιού. Στη Μονή το Πλού καλλιεργούμε ε, αρκετές ε, ποικιλίε γηγενείς, ε, οι οποίες μερικές από αυτές είναι το φραψαθύρι, Βιλάνα, το Λιάτικο και το Μαντιλάρι. Έχουμε δώσει τα τελευταία χρόνια έμφαση στην ποιότητα των ντόπιων ποικιλιών. Θεωρούμε ότι αυτές είναι η αξία του τόπου μας. 
Το κρασί που παράγεται στο εινοποιείο της Μονής στο Πλού είναι μόνο από τις ομπελώνες της ιεράς, που καλλιεργούνται στην Ιερά Μονή το Πλού. Καλλιεργούνται περίπου 30 εκτάρια μπελώνες βιολογικοί, που για την περιοχή θεωρούνται έτσι ένας μεγάλος κλήρος, γιατί στη, στην Κρήτη είναι πολύ μικρή η κλήρη. Ε, γίνονται όλα με τρόπο χειροκίνητο, δηλαδή κυρίως χρησιμοποιούμε ε, ανθρώπινο δυναμικό για να παραχθεί το κρασί. Ο στόχος μας είναι η ποιότητα και όχι η ποσότητα. Θέλουμε να αναδείξουμε τις ντόπιε ποικιλίε και σιγά σιγά αυτό ε, νομίζουμε ότι το έχουμε καταφέρει σε ένα πολύ μεγάλο βαθμό. Τα τελευταία 10 χρόνια υπάρχει μια φοβερή ανάπτυξη στην ποιότητα των κρασιών της Κρήτης. Ε, από αυτό φυσικά δεν λείπουμε και εμείς. Θεωρώ ότι σε, είμαστε σε καλό δρόμο να αναδείξουμε, να αναδειχτεί αυτό που σημαίνει πραγματικά το κριτικό κρασί και να πάρει μια θέση στην παγκόσμια αγορά για την ποιότητά του και να μπορεί να γευτεί ο καθένας κάτι από το τερουάρ της Κρήτης που είναι πολύ διαφορετικό. There are five basic stages or steps to making wine. Harvesting, crushing and pressing, fermentation, clarification and then aging and bottling. Red wine is made from the pulp of red or black grapes and fermentation occurs together with the grape skins which give the wine its color. Some roses can also be added for good color and flavor. White wine is made by fermenting juice which is made by pressing crushed grapes to extract the juice. The skins are removed and play no further role. Another product that is made from grapes and wine is vinegar. Vinegar is the most common dressing and natural preservative. There are many different kinds of vinegar to choose from, like white vinegar, balsamic vinegar, white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, rice vinegar, malt vinegar and many more. Depending on the variety, vinegar can bring a sour, tangy, sweet, mild, malty, woody or even buttery flavor to your dish. A very unique variety of vinegar is the apple cider. Apple cider vinegar is a type of vinegar made with crushed apples, yeast and sugar. It is used as an ingredient in foods like salad dressings, pickles and marinades. Everywhere in the world, apart from the USA, cider is an alcoholic fermented fruit beverage. Crete has an ancient tradition of making outstanding cheese. The value of cheese as a food item in ancient Greece was such that they called it a gift from the gods. Livestock in Crete has not changed since then and goats, sheep and cows are used. The free pasturing during the whole year, together with the plants and herbs of Crete, give an exceptional taste, smell and food value to its dairy products. Today's difference is that for the safety and preservation of the product's quality, the process takes place in modern units with technological means while maintaining the traditional cheese making ways and the traditional recipes. The cheese production in Crete takes place according to the season due to the weather conditions, the high temperature and the seasons of flora. Some of the most famous Cretan cheese varieties are Graviera, Sinomidsitra, Pictogalo, and Sigolo. Graviera Critis Pidio develops a hard, light yellow paste surrounded by a natural rind. Its flavor is nutty and sweet with a subtle savory aftertaste. Sinomidsitra Critis Pidio is a white, medium, soft, fresh cheese that has been made and loved in Crete for thousands of years. It has a slightly sour taste with a melt-in-the-mouth texture. Pictocolo Honey and Pidio is a type of Zinomidsithra, a spreadable cheese without a specific shape or casing. Sigalo Cities Pidio is a soft, spreadable cheese. The cheese is white with a creamy or granular texture. Its taste is fresh, acidic and slightly salty. Even though these four cheeses are completely different, they all have something very important in common. The animals that produce the milk for the cheese must be allowed to graze freely in the mountains of Crete where the cheese is made. This ensures that no pollutants or pesticides make their way into the milk that produces the cheese. A 
very unique and traditional Cretan type of bread is Critico Paximadi, also known as the Cretan Rusks. It is made with either wholemeal barley flour or a combination of barley, wheat and oat flour, and then double baked. Its appearance is porous, rough and irregular, and the fibres of barley or wheat can be seen on it. From a nutritional point of view, they are rich in vitamins of the B complex and also in fibre. Combined with grated tomatoes, olive oil, oregano and a bit of crumbly white cheese, Critico Paximadi PGI becomes the base of a Dacos salad, the ultimate representation of the Mediterranean diet. Last but not least of the gold quality basket is honey. Honey dating back to 2100 BC. For many years, honey has been used for many different purposes, such as paying taxes in Roman times. And in ancient Greece, girls would dip their fingers into honey before their wedding, so they could make sure that their married life would be sweet. It is difficult to appreciate the value of honey in today's world of convenience, high-tech wizardry, junk food, and sugar substitutes. Humans have eaten it, bathed in it, fixed their wounds with it, and traded with it since history was recorded. При биологичното пчеларство един от основните критерии е района около пчелина да е изключително чист. Затова нашите пчелини са разположени сред планински и полупланински райони, където няма никакво замеделие и почти никаква човешка дейност. Това гарантира, че меда, който добиваме, и останалите пчелни продукти са изключително чисти и в тях няма никакви замърсявания от пестициди или от тежки метали. Другото основно, друг важен момент при биологичното пчеларство е да не се използват синтетични лекарствени средства срещу болестите и срещу паразитите по пчелите. Много е важно също така да се контролира и восъка, който се влага в пчелните семейства, защото той също е вектор, през който могат да, да влезат различни замърсявания в продукта. Това, което се опитваме да правим ние е да поддържаме силни пчелни семейства, за да гарантираме качествен продукт, който идва директно от нашия пчелин до вашата трапеза. Системата за биологична сертификация гарантира, че продукта, който добиваме от кошера, стига директно, без никаква а, намеса за неговите качества до трапезата на крайния потребител. Всъщност, това е гаранцията и сертификата за качество, който гарантира, че са спазени всичките естествени процеси при отглеждането на, на пчелите, при това се сгрижа за околната среда и продукта има най-високи хранителни и здравословни качества за вас. Honey is a thick golden liquid that bees make from the nectar of flowering plants. Honey bees collect nectar to create honey and store it as food because it provides the energy for bees' flight muscles and provides heating for the hive in the winter. Fortunately, honey bees will make more honey than the colony needs, so it is necessary for beekeepers to harvest the excess which they bottle. The bees produce the honey through a process of collecting nectar and then regurgitating the nectar. Then water evaporates from the nectar to produce the material we consume and know as honey. On average, a hive will produce about 55 pounds of surplus honey each year. Beekeepers harvest it by collecting the honeycomb frames and scraping off the wax cap that bees make to seal off honey in each cell. Once the caps are removed, the frames are placed in an extractor, a centrifuge that spins the frames, forcing honey out of the comb. After the honey is extracted, it's strained to remove any remaining wax and other particles. After straining, it's time to bottle, label and bring it to you. След като бъде добит в стопанства на нашите производители, меда се пакетира в 25 кг теники, така че е готов за транспортиране и за последващата преработка. В този си вид медът не е много стабилен, той много бързо кристализира и в себе си съдържа много фини частици, обикновено восък или прополис. Както виждате, той е доста твърд и няма как да бъде изваден от тениките без някаква термична обработка. В същото време 
терм... медът е много термочувствителен. Т.е. при висока температура ние рискуваме да загубим голяма част от неговите полезни свойства. Затова в нашия кооператив разполагаме с оборудване, което позволява да контролираме температурата на топене на меда, която не трябва да превишава повече от 42-45 градуса и също време да направим процесът бърз. Тенеките се подреждат в тези вани, които са зад мен, където за, а, с, а, топла, а, с водна баня, с а, топла вода, успяваме да втешним меда и да го придвижим към а, следващия етап на преработка. След като сме успяли да втешним а, меда, е много важно той да бъде хомогенизиран, защото отделните партиди от отделните производители, включително от отделни вадения на меда, са корено различни от гледна точка на вкус, на цвят, на мирис, включително неговата текстура. Затова служат тези съдове, които се намират зад мен. Те помагат меда да се смеси много внимателно, като в същото време контролираме неговата температура и запазваме полезните му свойства. Смесването, в зависимост от това какво искаме да постигнем, можем да го преработим за 8 или за 48 часа. След това той е готов за пълнене или в големи разфасовки, в варели или в буркани, които са предназначени за крайния клиент. Всъщност, целият процес от самото производство до преработката на продукт, до неговото сипане в буркани, се контролира от трета независима организация, така наречените сертифициращи лица, които гарантират пред вас, потребителите, че процесите, които ние декларираме, спазваме стрикно и продукта, който получавате, е изключително чист, натурален и произведен в съответствие с изискванията за опазване на околната среда. It doesn't matter if the container is glass or plastic, or if the honey is purchased at the grocery store or farmer's market. If the ingredient label says pure honey, nothing was added from bee to hive to bottle. There are many varieties of honey. The color, taste, smell, and even texture will vary greatly between varieties. The distinguishing factor is the type of flower that the bee frequents. Some of these varieties are acacia, alfalfa, lavender, chestnut, black forest honey, pine, thyme, and many more. Honey contains mostly sugar, as well as a mix of amino acids, vitamins, minerals, iron, zinc, and antioxidants. Despite the small size of Bulgaria, the country is one of the most suitable places for honey production due to its diverse plant life and temperate climate. Bulgaria is one of Europe's richest countries in herbs and honey plants, many of which are unique to the world. The moderate climate, varied vegetation and ecological natural conditions encourage the development of strong and healthy bee colonies, as well as the extraction of clean and useful honey with a strong taste and aroma. According to the number of certified organic bee families, Bulgaria ranks first among honey producers in Europe. Beekeeping has been part of the Bulgarians' life since the ancient Thracian period. Bee honey and wax were among the main exchange products in the trade of old Bulgarians. The centuries-old practice of the former Bulgarian beekeepers has created facilities that have become a prototype for making such instruments in a number of other countries and which are used up to the present day. Bulgarian honey is unique and of high quality, and its taste is different from what you have tried before. This is because it is harvested in small private farms, in quiet forests and mountainous areas in the wild, remote from the industrial zones. Organic honey from Bulgaria has a unique quality due to the fact that it is produced in smaller quantities, with the utmost care of the farmers. The high demand for organic honey from Bulgaria led to the creation of Bulgarian Organic Foods OOD. The organization was founded in 2013 by organic beekeepers from the Targovista region, with the main objective of joint promotion and marketing of organic honey. In 2017, the Bulgarian Organic Foods OOD was recognized as a producer's organization within the organic honey and organic apiculture products sector. Currently, the organization is the biggest organic honey producer organization in Bulgaria, combining 10 beekeeping farms and working with more than 30 beekeepers, 
with more than 3,000 organic certified beehives. The general objective of the organization is the development of the Bulgarian organic beekeeping sector. Bulgaria's local organic honey producers support the bee population, which has been in significant danger of extinction in recent years. Buying organic honey will help small-scale farmers survive whilst also supporting the biodiversity of plants and bee communities. In the modern world, which unfortunately has been adapted to a system of consumption of foods that has several adverse effects on human health, it is important to remember the benefits of a balanced diet. The key to a strong and nutritious diet is to use natural ingredients. Honey instead of sugar, extra virgin olive oil, PDO cheese, and PDO PGI products from Crete are some of the finest products to consume.